Hi, everyone. My name is Jackie Scully. And today I want to talk about the way is the greatest teacher. It's a message that has come to me recently as I am walking a new path in my life after taking a leap of faith and going through a pretty big career and life transition. So the way is something that has often been referenced in Catholicism, in the way Jesus walked his path, in this walk from France to Spain, in the Catholic faith as like a pilgrimage. But my message here is not meant to be religious or referencing anything with uh, Jesus or the in the Bible. But that is something that is part of my background as well as I was born and raised Catholic. And um, my faith is, you know, very much tied with being uh, a believer of Jesus and his path and what he did, you know, to help others as really just even just a man as a humanitarian. Um, so the way is this path that we walk in truth, in love, it's our authenticity. It's our courage to say, I need to step in to my true self and walk this path, even if it's really difficult, if others don't get it, if I'm criticized and, you know, beaten down and falling down and making mistakes and feeling like, you know, this is a failure. What am I doing? And still walking. That is the path of the heart. And really when we walk this way, leading from our heart space, from our heart chakra, it's the most beautiful way to live life. And really now coming into that, into this path of my true North and where I'm heading is really the only way to live life once you come on this path. I have been on paths in my life where I definitely felt aligned. You know, I was a teacher for many years. I'm still a teacher in many ways and in the education space. And there's times that I was out of alignment or I grew out of that path. So we have to sometimes, you know, assess and determine is this the right path for me to be on? Maybe it was at one point, but maybe now I'm meant to be growing out of that path and finding a new one. And in that in-between stage, it's kind of like if you take the analogy of like a snail or a hermit crab coming out of a shell and finding a new shell because you outgrew that shell, it's kind of like you outgrew that path. And in your in-between transition where you don't have that shell, that protective layer, you don't really have the path directly linear in front of you. It can be very scary. And that is the time where we need to be humble. We need to tap into our emotions and we need to ask for help, lean our community. There's so many people in our life and even your faith, if you have faith or you have other things you believe in that support you and support the path that you're on, because then you're able to do it and you can feel like I'm not alone in this. You know, there are people that will be cheering you on. There will be people that see what you're trying to do. And I am grateful that I have had that in my own life with family, with friends and new connections that are coming into my life. So I'm just giving this message as encouragement that you can stay on this path and you can it's okay to fall down and it's okay to not know where it's going and to be a little scared. But if you keep leading from the heart space and you keep tapping into your truth saying, this is how it needs to be. Because if I get off this path or I choose another one that's out of alignment and I'm not in my authenticity, it doesn't feel so great. So really tap into those emotions as hard as it can be. And there are communities out there. And if they're not directly in your physical space, there's many on in the online space. I know social media, we can get sucked into that and everything, but really there's a wonderful community. I found mine on LinkedIn and I found it now in newer spaces like TikTok and Instagram. And it just takes time sharing your true self 
with the world and those people will find you and they will connect with you. So the way is the greatest teacher because it teaches you so many things about yourself. It teaches you how to be in love with yourself and with your truth and with your authenticity. It teaches you about gratitude and noticing the people in your life that are there with you, walking beside you. It teaches you about courage and trust that to keep going, even when it gets really hard, it teaches you about maybe you do tap into faith and you do believe in something higher than yourself. So it really is the greatest teacher. And I would say alongside of that, love, love is the greatest teacher because love is part of that path. It's part of that way. So keep walking as hard as it may be and know that you have people like myself and others cheering you on. And when you walk this path from your heart space, from love, that is the way to live this life. And that is the way that we then serve and we give to others. We have to be in our, in our love and our truth and our authenticity to really be able to fully serve. And I believe we are all here to serve in some way. That doesn't mean community service necessarily or charity. It can, and that's wonderful, but you can serve in your career. You can serve as a mother or father. You can serve as a friend. You can serve as a teacher. You can serve by making content and sharing messages on social media. There's all types of ways that we serve. When we serve, it means we are giving our love to others in whatever way is our gift and talent. And when you're on that path on the way and you're learning from that teacher, then you can fully serve and give to the world. And that's what we really need. This world needs you. It needs you on your path. It needs you stepping into your truth and love and to serve. So thank you so much for listening to this message of the way is the greatest teacher. And I wish you all the greatest love and blessings in your life. Love you all. Bye-bye.